Shalom. My name is Officer Yuri of Israel United in Christ. This message is to those blacks that are scattered all throughout the Oceania region, in Australia, Vanuatu, Papua New Guinea, and all the surrounding islands. In the book of Isaiah, chapter 11, verse 11, it reads, And it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall set his hand again the second time to recover the remnant of his people. Who are his people? They are the children of Israel, which shall be left from Assyria and from Egypt and from Pathros and from Cush and from Elam and from Shinar and from Hamath and from the islands of the sea. So the Bible prophesied that in these last days, the children of Israel, where would they be? Would they be in the land of Israel or would they be scattered all throughout the world? So here's the question. In these last days, how do we identify who the Israelites are? What would be the identifying markers to show you if you are one of the chosen people? Let's see. In the book of Romans chapter 8 and verse 16. The Spirit itself bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. So what is the Spirit? This Bible. This Bible will bear witness with your spirit according to the curses of Deuteronomy chapter 28 if you are the children of Israel or not. You so-called black people in Australia and in the islands surrounding, do you wonder why there's oppression, why there was colonization, while there was murder to you and your people to this very day in the land? Well, the curses of Deuteronomy chapter 28 are here to help identify who are God's chosen people and why they suffer the curses that they do. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Inside of the Bible, there are laws, statutes, and commandments that we must keep as the children of Israel, such as how we dress, what we eat, the holidays we celebrate, so on and so forth. We broke God's commandments. Thus, the curses of Deuteronomy chapter 28 are on us to this very day. Where does it say that at? Verse 46. And they, meaning these curses, shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder and upon thy seed forever. These curses in Deuteronomy chapter 28, they didn't just happen one time. No, they happen over and over again through many of the captivities unto this very day. So what are these curses that hit us? What are these curses that chase us? What are these curses that we face as a people right now? Let's read verse 16. Cursed shalt thou be in the city. Many times and in many places in Australia, you see a lot of police brutality. Still out on these streets that we're still fighting the same battle that our people stood in front of us a generation. You see a lot of murders. You see a lot of laws put in place that only affect you. You don't live in the best places in the land of Australia. Most of the times you live in the worst, like Utopia. The army was sent into black communities as the spearhead of a government determined to control people's lives and their land. People who refused to hand over the lease of their lands were to be denied basic services, like decent housing and sanitation. Utopia, by definition, should be a paradise. But why does it look like this? Why does it have no electricity, no water? The neglect of the city is evident. But who does this affect? It affects the children of Israel. You must ask yourself, do you face that curse? Verse 16 again, Cursed shalt thou be in the city, and cursed shalt thou be in the field. What fields were you cursed in, you so-called Australians? You so-called black people in the land of Australia? Do you remember blackbirding? When you were brought to the land of Australia to work the land? Where you were in the tobacco fields, the sugarcane fields? You were in the tobacco fields? And were you being paid the highest wages? No, you were being enslaved. You were being lied to, you were being tricked. And most times you were being beaten and you were placed in harsh servitude. 
Let's see some more curses that you may identify with as the children of Israel. Verse 29, and thou shalt grope at noonday as the blind gropeth in darkness, and thou shalt not prosper in thy ways, and thou shalt be only oppressed and spoiled evermore, and no man shall save thee. Look around at your local cities. Look around at your communities. Look around in the places you live. Are you being oppressed and by whom? People who would look at me and think that I don't belong here, even though I was born here and I grew up here. You black monkey, like yo, you're ruining this country, mate. You would be wondering why would somebody who doesn't know me feel this way about me? These curses are fitting the children of Israel to this very day. Let's check out some of the articles from past and present showing the oppression that you black Australians face. It says the indigenous children bear the brunt of Australia's unequal education system. So even in education, we are finding ourselves oppressed at the bottom in a lowest state. As you can see, there was an attempted massacre. What curses also talk about that? Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 65. And among these nations shalt thou find no ease, neither shall the sole of thy foot have rest, but the Lord shall give thee there a trembling heart and failing of eyes and sorrow of mind. There's always been historically massacres, captivity, slavery, unjust treatment, oppression against our people. Now we're starting to understand why this happened to us, because we broke our God's commandments. And what does this also mean? that we need a savior. We need a savior that looks like us and that taught us what we must do to gain salvation. The black Messiah, Jesus the Christ. Here's another curse, verse 21. The Lord shall make the pestilence cleave unto thee. Pestilence is disease. Until he have consumed thee from off the land, whither thou goest to possess it. The Lord shall smite thee with a consumption and with a fever and with an inflammation, and with an extreme burning, and with the sword, and with blasting, and with mildew, and they shall pursue thee until thou perish. A lot of the living conditions that black Australians face, it causes for them to face multiple, very treatable and avoidable diseases. The things you eat, the environment, the low wages, all of these things contribute to poor health conditions, it also says it in verse 61. Also every sickness and every plague, which is not written in the book of this law, them will the Lord bring upon thee until thou be destroyed. One of the indicating factors that the children of Israel will be under these curses is that in whatever land they are in, they will be most highly incarcerated. You always get locked up. You always get locked up. Hmm. Isaiah chapter 42 verse 22. But this is a people robbed and spoiled. They are all of them snared in holes, and they are hid in prison houses. They are for a prey, and none delivereth, for a spoil, and none saith, restore. The highest incarceration rates are not just in America, not just in South America, not just in Africa, but in the land of Australia as well. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people, and thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long, and there shall be no might in thine hand. In the days of blackbirding, they didn't just take adults. They didn't just take men. They took children. They had children working in the cotton fields. They had children working in the sugarcane fields. They had children working in the tobacco field. They had children working in slavery. Why did they call it the Stolen Generation? Because it was a whole generation of kids that was taken from their homes. Basically, you either had to be black or white. You couldn't be brown or in the middle. So they would consider you in the middle and you would have been taken. Fast forward to this day. Many of our children are being kidnapped. Many of our children are being sex trafficked. They're being taken away from us. And what power do we have to get them back? We have no military might. We have no economic might. What do we have? We now have the understanding that this is happening to us because we did not keep our God's commandments. Who does this fit? What people and what race do these curses fit? You have to ask yourself, is it me? And if so, 
What must I do to get back with God? What must I do to get in right standing with the black Messiah, Jesus Christ? Let's see. Acts chapter 3, verse 19. Repent ye therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. This verse is saying that there will be an end to these curses. Oppression isn't our destiny, no. Oppression is our past and our present, but it's up to you to repent and make the kingdom of heaven your future. We must repent. We must come back to the laws of God. We must come back to our true heritage, not as Australians, but as the children of Israel. Shalom.